गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट वेलकम बैक टू आवर ई लार्निंग क्लास सो एज यू नो योर एग्जाम गोइंग ऑन सो आई एम हियर टू टेक योर साइंस क्लास नो सो लेट्स गेट अप एंड रेडी फॉर योर साइंस क्लास वील डू आर रिविशन वर्क येस टूडे ओके वील डू आर रिविशन वर्क हियर you know the chapters i have told you chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 chapter 4 and chapter 5 i have already told you chapter 1 to chapter 5 is your syllabus so your syllabus is first i write the syllabus of science chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 chapter 4 and chapter 5 this is your syllabus okay so you will uh, revise from everything i have told you already before that you will revise from inside of the chapter the mcq that is given and also from the exercise of each chapter and also the fill in the blanks okay fill in the blanks also may be coming as mcqs so from the first chapter let us uh, recap so food and feeding habits of animals you know the food and feeding habits of animals there are different that according to the eating habits animals are classified into three kinds they are herbivores carnivores and omnivores okay then how animals eat noyes how they eat the animals that swallow their food whole suppose a uh, frog or a snake then animals that tear and chew the flesh okay animals that tear and chew their flesh so how is uh, the how are the animals the examples will be lion tiger they have front teeth sharp curved and pointed front teeth and their back teeth are flat and broad then there are animals that eat and chew the grass they are especially herbivores for example cow buffalo they have flat sharp and broad front teeth and strong grinding teeth at the back to chew the food okay then we have also learned that animals are taking liquid food suppose a butterfly bees they use the tube to suck the nectar from the flowers mosquitoes and leeches they suck blood from the bodies of other animals okay cats and dogs lap up milk and water with their tongue okay then we have also learned the food chain food chain you know the chain that shows how plants are eaten by animals and then animals are eaten by other animals okay we have learned from there then we are care of domestic animal here we have learned the domestic animals and the pet animals also you know domestic animal cow horse goat and the pet animals are cat dog rabbit okay we will do a revision work of the different mcqs there let us recap the chapter then uh, from the chapter 2 from chapter 2 what we have learned anybody having any problem you can uh, ask me in the chat box okay you can write in the chat box okay from second chapter keeping safe okay i think you have learned all well no you are all prepared okay from the second chapter uh, you know how our accidents caused accidents occur accident occur Uh, due to our carelessness that one then we have learned the uh, safety rules define safety rules safety rules while traveling in a bus you know the safety rules while traveling in a bus okay then we have learned safety rules on the road okay uh, safety rules on the road we have learned then safety rules in the playground also okay you know uh, we uh, should not play a rough game we should always uh, play fair game we should not push or hit each other while playing these are the safety rules and uh, then we have learned also safety at home okay safety rules followed at home you know that we should not uh, sharp 
we do not use sharp things like knives or scissors okay then we should not touch uh, wear plug socket or hot iron or heaters okay these are the thing uh, then we should not run down the stairs okay then we have also learned safety rules that is followed in the classroom okay say what safety rule do not push anybody even in fun do not jump on the desk sharpen your pencil with a sharpener do not hang or swing on the windows then we have learned also first aid what first aid what is first aid first aid means after an accident the immediate or the first help given to an injured person before a doctor arrives before a doctor arrives is called first aid okay then we have learned about the first aid uh, that to be given for small cut and first aid for burns okay then there are mcq mcq and fill in the blanks i will discuss later on let me recap the chapter this thing you will learn okay then from the th third chapter we will go to the third chapter now third chapter is housing and clothing okay housing and clothing you know um, why do we need a house we need a house to uh, protect ourselves from the heat cold storm and rain okay then we have learned different types of houses kachcha house pakka house and multi story building kachcha house is made of mud and straw and pakka house is made of bricks iron wood glass and cement then there are multi story building multi story is also pakka house it has many floors many families can live at different floors then we have learned about special houses okay special houses means people who move around from place to place are called nomads they live in tents or caravan okay then we have learned about different tent see tent igloo what is an igloo you know snow house you can call it stilt house what is stilt house okay then we we'll, uh, there is mcq we will discuss this one and uh, see what is a house made up of mud and straw called is it kachcha house pakka house apartment mud and straw so you know uh, mud and straw this is a kachcha house okay okay then we have learned also the good house what is a good house a good house should have all the things we need to make ourselves safe and comfortable a good house should have the following features what should it features yes correct answer uh, it should have will be it should be well ventilated with do windows and doors and uh, doors and windows should have wire netting then there should be a proper drainage system to carry the dirty water away from the house the floor of the kitchen and the bathroom should be sloped to allow water to flow out easily then it should have a open spaces like veranda courtyard and balconies okay it should have many plants plants clean the air and make the surroundings beautiful then there is a one mcq i will ask you we will also revise in the board okay let me ask you this one as i am just uh, giving a verbal discussion of the chapters so people living in very cold places people living in very cold places build houses what type of houses they build they build mud snow or bricks what type of houses they build with in living very cold places people living in very cold places build houses made of snow yes snow okay very good then uh, we have also learned some ways to clean our house what are some ways some ways to clean our house yes all very good okay some ways to clean our house uh, see uh, furniture should be dusted and clean regularly the floor should be swept and mopped every day germ killers like phenyl should be used while mopping the floor then everything should be kept at a proper place so that our house looks neat and tidy toilet and bathroom must be clean daily dustbin should be kept covered to keep away insects and that spread disease bed sheets and curtains must be washed regularly 
as i am uh, one thing i am going to tell you now as i am uh, giving a oral discussion here for each chapter means the uh, description of each chapter not the mcq i am telling so you will all have must have your book with you you open the cha each chapter and you follow or you must listen it then when i will write you will also write down in your science notebook okay see another mcq okay be ready sunlight kills sunlight what does sunlight do sunlight kills the germs insect or rats sunlight kills the germs yes okay very good the floor of the bathroom should be plain sloped or dirty it is sloped okay then we have learned about the fibers different fibers okay why do we wear clothes there is a very good question here why do we wear clothes we wear clothes to cover our bodies but also we also wear clothes it keeps ourselves warm in winters protect ourselves from the sun's heat in summer protect ourselves from rain and insect bites and to look good and smart so clothes are made up of fibers fibers are two types there are two types of fibers what are those two types they are natural fiber and synthetic fiber or man made fiber so what are natural fibers natural fibers are the fibers that are obtained either from plants or animals for example cotton and jute then we have also laid about that synthetic fiber fibers that are made by human in factories are called man made fiber or synthetic fiber for example nylon terricot polyester then we have also learned about weather and clothes we wear clothes according to the weather of the place we live in okay see this time suppose today today how is the weather weather is very cold no so we are wearing sweater woolen clothes okay so we wear light colored cotton clothes in summer because they allow body heat to escape and keep ourselves cool and we wear woolen clothes in the winter because they do not allow body heat to escape and our body warm just for today okay we are wearing woolen clothes so when it rains we use raincoat umbrella gum boots these are made of waterproof materials the material does not allow water to pass through it keeps us dry and protect us from rain okay these are the things we have uh, learned from chapter number 3 that is housing and clothing okay from housing and clothing okay then uh, we, we should clean the fan yes yes fatima okay now we will go to next chapter chapter number 4 from soil okay soil what we have learned from chapter number soil so what is soil i can ask you soil is the uppermost layer uh, soil is the uppermost layer of the earth okay soil is the uppermost layer of the earth plants grow in soil roots of plants get water and minerals from the soil small animals like insects and earthworms live in the soil okay okay how is soil formed we have also learned that uh, process of formation of soil we have learned that soil is formed by the breakdown of rocks into tiny pieces okay divyanka you have written soil is supermost layer not supermost uppermost soil is uppermost layer of the earth uppermost upper uppermost okay so soil is formed by the breakdown of rocks into tiny pieces rocks are heated by sun and cooled by the cold weather the continuous heating and cooling to crack and break into small pieces these small pieces are carried to different places by the wind or running water the pieces rub against each other till they finally become tiny particles of soil dead plants and animals also get mixed with these pieces okay these are the formation thus we have seen that soil is a mixture of tiny pieces of rocks and remains of dead plants and animals then also from soil so one mcq i will ask you then we will do in the board 
the uppermost layer of the earth the uppermost layer of the earth is called water soil stone so what is the uppermost layer of the soil is called yes it is soil uppermost layer of the earth is called soil okay okay next uh, what does soil contain we know have learned also soil contains stones that is gravel sand clay and humus <coughs> okay soil contains stone sand clay and humus okay soil contains water also we have also learned that soil contains water. so how can you prove that soil contains water uh, very easy that one activity you have to take a handful of soil and you will have to keep it in a container and the container uh, should be kept covered okay it will be the, the container should be covered then after keeping the soil the container should be covered then uh, the container is heated okay then after some time you open the lid open the lid of the container so you, you can see that there are drops of water on the lid of the container okay so this proves that soil contains water very easy this one activity soil also contains air how can you prove it how can you prove that soil contains air you have to take some garden soil in a jar then pour some water on it you are taking some garden soil in a jar then you are pouring some water okay so as you do this you notice bubbles forming in the soil this happens because the trapped air inside the soil escapes as bubble this trapped air is escaping as bubble this shows that soil contains air okay now one mcq again see here dead leaves twigs and remains of dead insects make dead leaves twigs and remains of dead insects make what they make humus clay or sand yes it is humus of course humus very good okay now we will come to types of soil what are the different types of soil you know soils differ in color particle size and amount of air and water there are three types of soil what are the three types sandy soil clay soil and loamy soil see clay soil means what is clay soil clay soil contains mostly clay it consists of soil particles of very small size it is smooth and sticky it is used by potters to make toys and pots clay soil is not good for plants this is a very important line clay soil is not good for plants because there are no spaces between its particles to hold air but it can hold a lot of water because water cannot pass through the particles easily okay this is of clay soil now we come to sandy soil sandy soil means sand it mainly consists of sand there is a lot of air in the spaces between its large particles but it cannot hold much water because water can easily pass through these spaces so very few plants are able to grow in the sandy soil it is mostly found on seashore and in the desert you know sandy soil is mostly found on the in the desert and on the seashore okay now we will learn loamy soil what is loamy soil loamy soil contains both sand and clay okay loamy soil contains okay Uh, switch off your front camera kritika switch off the front camera please okay very good so loamy soil means it contains both sand and clay it is very good for the plants why because it contains humus it contains a lot of humus and can hold both air and water so it is very good for the plants because it makes the soil very fertile okay yes now we have also learned uses of soil what are the uses of soil you know all plants grow in the soil soil contains water and minerals that plants need for their growth without soil plants have no space to grow properly and if there were no plants we would have no food then we have also learned that soil is home to many animals soil is home to many animals 
different animals live in the soil you know that ants snail earthworm they are living in the soil okay earthworms are very useful for farmers why earthworms are useful because earthworms dig tunnels in the soil and loosen it they add humus to the soil and make the soil fertile they are called farmers friend as they are digging the tunnels and going from here and there they are making the tunnels and making the soil very fertile so they are called farmers friend soil is called farmers friend okay they are called farmers friend okay so this is chapter is completed okay so we will do the mcq from there let us uh, carry one that last chapter of, of your syllabus living and non living things chapter 5 okay chapter 5 now we will dis discuss uh, chapter 5 uh, what we have learned from chapter 5 you know natural things and man made things we have learned okay what are natural things natural things are the things uh, that are made not made by humans natural things are the things that are provided to us by the nature they are not made by human for example sun air water plant animal rock okay human made things these are things that are made by humans and they are not provided by nature they are made by humans for example house car book okay these are all human made things okay uh, also remember natural things may be living or non living suppose a rock it is formed by the nature so it is a non living thing okay and this plant these animals these are all living thing living natural thing you remember this one okay then there are human made things are always non living things okay then we will go to the next one characteristics of living things we have learned okay we have learned that there are characteristics of different living things okay what are the character living things grow how can you show living things grow see a tiny seed you know a tiny small seed it grows into a plant first a seedling then a plant then a big tree okay a chick hatches out of an egg and then grows into a hen okay a human baby grows into an adult and then into an old person okay this is the characteristics of the living thing okay then we have also learned living things need food and water living things need food and water all living things need food and water to live you know most plants make their own food from water air and sunlight animals get their food from plants and other animals but non living things do not need food and water to live okay then another character features is living things feel and react yes when you dust uh, if i just pick you if i just pick your hand pick your finger so you will feel feel pain you will shout okay you will just move your hand touch an ice cube your fingers feel cold when you hear music or your feet start tapping on the floor okay humans and most animals feel changes around them with their sense organ they feel the changes around them with their sense organ insects like cockroaches and butterflies have what they have they have antenna to sense the changes around them plants do not have any sense organ but they react to changes around them when you touch an uh, touch me not plant when you touch the leaves of the touch me not plant what will happen the leaves will droop the leaves will close okay this they are responding to stimuli means they are feeling the touch sensation okay then living things feel as so living things feel and react living things feel and react but non living thing do not feel and react then we have also on living things breathe yes living things we you know animals like cat dog tiger and lion breathe through 
lungs. Their breathing organ is lungs. Human beings also breathe through lungs. Insects like cockroach, mosquitoes and grasshoppers breathe through air holes in their bodies. Fishes breathe through gills and take in oxygen dissolved in water. Plants breathe through tiny holes in their leaves called stomata. So plants breathe through stomata. So these are the different breathing organs. See, animals, we are having lungs. Okay. Animals like cat, dog, human beings have lungs to breathe. Insects, they have air holes in their bodies. Plants have stomata to breathe. Okay. But non-living things do not breathe. Okay. So, which are following ha do not have sense organs? See, for, suppose I am giving you an MCQ. Which of the following? Which of the following do not have sense organ? Plant, animal, human being. What is the answer? Which of the following do not have sense organ? It is plant. Plant do not have sense organ. Yes, very good. Okay. Now living things move. Living things move. Animals move from place to place in search of food and shelter or to run away from their enemies. You know this one. The sunflower, some plants do not move from place to place. They cannot move from place to place, okay? They do not have legs. How can they move? Okay. They show only the body movement. They can show. They are fixed to the ground. Some plants show a little movement. The touch me not plant closes its leaves when you touch it. The sunflower always turns towards the sun. Lotus flower opens in the morning and closes at night. So living things move on their own. But non-living things can move? No, they cannot move. They have to move by force. If you give force, they will move. Suppose a doll, you will give a force for its movement, it will move. Okay? Now living things reproduce. What is reproduction? We have learned there the process by which living things produce young ones of their own kind is called reproduction. You know plants produce seed, new plants grow from seed. Some plants produce new plants from other parts of the plants like stem, roots or leaves. And insects like birds, snake, crocodile, they lay eggs. I have, uh, I'm talking about the insect, the bird, snake, crocodile, they lay eggs. And from the eggs, the babies come out. Dogs, cats, and human beings, they give birth to young ones. Dogs have puppies, cats have kittens, and human beings have babies. So living things can reproduce. But non-living things can reproduce? No, they cannot reproduce. They cannot produce babies. Okay. So this is the chapter. These are the chapters from which the questions will be coming. Okay. The MCQ. Now we will going to uh, do a revision work in the board. Okay. All of you will write this in your science notebook, science copy. Okay. See here, we will revise now. All of you will do in the science copy now. Okay. Choose the correct answer. In six, all of you now do will do in the science copy, okay? All of you will do this one. Insects like cockroaches and butterflies 
fill through okay your options are sense organs b antenna c ear holes and d none so what is the correct option insect like cockroach and butterflies feel through yes antenna very good this is the answer now another one a dash finally grows into a hen a, fi a dash finally grows into a hen your options are kid puppy chick and d kitten a dash finally grows into a hen which one it is chick yes very good chick chick is the answer okay then from soil chapter it takes dash years to form soil it takes dash years to form soil your options are 1 few many and none of these so it takes dash years to form soil what is the answer it takes many years yes very good many years to form soil another one which is the heaviest part of the soil which is soil your options are clay gravel humus none of these which is the heaviest part of the soil it is no heaviest part of the soil it is gravel gravel is the heaviest part okay because it is a stone made of stone no many of them have written one okay okay now i will uh, 
switch the front camera now i will rub number 1 and 2 okay now i will rub number 1 and 2 i think all of you have written this one okay next one number 5 we wear woolen clothes to keep our bodies options are warm cool healthy and the none none of these that means none of these so we have woolen clothes to keep our bodies what warm yes this one number 6 now the floor should be should be swept and the floor should be swept and mopped every your options are so i am going to rub now number 3 and 4 okay okay week month c day and d none so the floor should be swept and mopped every day answer is day okay okay yes kritika right now next mcq a child may get injured may get injured in the playground a child may get injured in the playground because of a dash game so a child may get injured in the playground because of a dash game your options are rough correct old new so a child may get injured in the playground because of a rough game yes the answer is rough okay 
another one we will do this is the last one okay number 8 rabbits and rats are called rabbits and rats are called what your options are noyes suckers carnivores and the nun so rabbits and rats are called noyers suckers carnivores and nun so what is the answer yes it is called noyers g n a w e r s no this is aman you have written wrong this one noyers spelling is g n a w e r s noyers yes g n not g r fatima g n it is g n okay it is g n a w e r s g n a w e r s noyers yes divyanka it is correct okay so okay this question will be there mcqs you will learn from the fill in the blanks as well as from the exercise of the chapter uh, inside uh, chapter there is also mcq and the exercise also is mcq you will learn that one hope you will do a very good exam you will give a very good exam and best of luck for everyone so thank you everyone for the class and goodbye okay